Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we are going to solve some problems based on discrete Fourier transform. So we are going to take some signals or sequences and we are going to find out the discrete Fourier transform of that signal. So let's say first we will take the signal x of n is equals to a to the power of n. Uh, I'm taking the parameter as n because these are discrete, right? So now we are going to find out the discrete Fourier transform of this signal. So in the previous video, as we saw the equation or you may say the formula for this to find out the discrete Fourier transform that is x of k is equals to summation from n is equals to 0 to capital N minus n and uh, x of n into e to the power of minus j 2 pi by capital N n k this is for all k values right and now here x of n is a to the power of n so I have substituted x of n value over here so summation from capital uh, summation from 0 to capital n minus 1 a to the power of n e to the power of j 2 pi by n into n k and this is valid for all k values so if i do some operations like if i uh, take n common from this this will look uh, look like uh, summation a to the power of n so this is equals to minus 1 minus a to the power of n by 1 minus a so here we are going to take n common and we are going to compute it like this so we are take it so this is a to the power of 1 e to the power of j 2 pi by n and k and for overall the power is small n right this is capital n now this can be written as 1 minus a means this whole term a into e to the power of j 2 pi by n into k and power n by 1 minus a means this whole term 1 minus a e to the power of j 2 pi by n into k and this is for all k is equals to 0 1 and up to k mi n minus 1 discrete Fourier transform of a to the power of n signal so according to this formula that is summation from n equal to 0 to capital N minus 1 a to the power of n we got 1 minus a to the power of this capital N and 1 minus a so according to this formula we computed this and this is valid for all k values which goes from 0 to n minus 1 so so let's take another problem and we will find out the discrete Fourier transform this is for even and 0 for odd Let's find out the discrete Fourier transform of this signal. So what is the formula? x of k is equals to summation from 0 to n minus 1 x of n original signal e to the power of minus j 2 pi by n n k. This is for all values of k. Now we are going to substitute even and odd values in this. So we can write it as from n equal to 0 to n minus 1. First we will take the even and uh, e to the power of 2 pi by n this will become 2n and k plus and this term is for odd 2n plus 1 minus j 2 pi by n 2n plus 1 k and then when we solve this we will get this equal to summation from 0 to n by 2 minus 1 and this will be equal to e to the power of minus j 4 pi by n into k so this equation looks similar to this so again we will do this same thing over here we will uh, consider this as a term and this will be equal to 1 minus e to the power of j to sorry 4 pi by n into k and again we have to put the n value right so the n value over here will be uh, let me check say 4 pi by n into k so the n value will be n by 2 here because it is here it is n by 2 right so we will substitute n by 2 n and will be cancelled and 2 and 4 will be get cancelled and we will get e to the power of j 2 pi k by 1 minus e to the power of minus j 4 pi by n into k so we got this finally so this is the answer Fourier transform discrete Fourier transform of this given signal so as we considered this as term a this looks similar to this formula right you can see this formula so we will transform it into this so this will become 1 minus 
a to e to the power i mean a to the power this whole term is a right so a to the power of n this here n is capital n by 2 so that's why we substituted n by 2 and 1 by a 1 by this whole term is a so when n and n get cancelled 4 and 2 gets cancelled we will be remaining with 1 minus e to the power of minus j we will be remaining with 1 minus e to the power of minus j 2 pi k and by 1 minus e to the power j 2 pi by n into k so this is the final discrete fourier transform of the given signal let's take some sequences to solve the same problem i mean to find the fourier transform of the sequences let's take a sequence that is x of n is equal to 1 1 0 and 0 so this signal or so this sequence length is equals to 4 that means capital n is equals to 4 now we are going to find out the discrete fourier transform of x of n right and what is the formula capital x of k is equals to summation from n equal to 0 to capital n minus 1 and the original signal or sequence e to the power of minus j 2 pi by capital n n k and this is valid for all k values now we are going to substitute the n value that is length of the sequence that is 3 4 right so 4 minus 1 will be equal to 3 so x of n and e to the power of j and here it is 2 pi by 4 so it will become 2 and n k this is for all k values but the k values are 0 1 2 and 3 only so this will be equal to summation n equal to 0 to 3 x of n e to the power of minus j pi by 2 n k and for k values 0 1 2 and 3 because length of the sequence is 4 so we took k values 4 from 0 starting from 0 so now we are going to substitute k values one by one uh, for k equal to 0 we are going to substitute in this equation this is from 0 to 3 x of n e to the power of minus j pi by 2 n into 0 so you can directly see that it will become x of n and this entire term will be 1 so we can write it as 0 1 2 and 3 so we will write the direct values this x of 0 value is 1 x of 2 value x of 1 value is also 1 x of 2 value is 0 and x of 3 value is also 0 so in the final we got capital x of 0 value as 2 now we will substitute k value as 1 for k equal to 1 capital x of 1 is equals to from 0 to 3 x of n e to the power of minus j pi by 2 into n into 1 so this will be equal to first if i take n value as 0 this will become 1 only so i can write x of 0 x of 1 into e to the power of j to the power pi by 2 into and here the n value is 1 and also the k value is also 1 plus for n equal to 2 e to the power of minus j pi by 2 n value is 2 and the k value is 1 plus x of 3 e to the power of minus j pi by 2 n value is 3 and k value is 1 so we are going to find out all the value of this so we can directly see that x of 0 value is 1 plus x of 1 into this exponential value we will get as minus j and uh, if we multiply anything with 0 it will obviously be equal to 0 so we will take it as 0 so this is 1 minus j and now we will substitute the k value equal to 2 so we will substitute uh, the k value equal to 2 here we will get n equal to 0 to 3 x of n e to the power of minus j pi by 2 n and the k value is 2 so we will expand it and we will get x of 0 plus x of 1 e to the power of minus j pi plus x of 2 e to the power of minus j 2 pi plus x of 3 e to the power of minus j 3 pi and this is directly in the sequence and and this value in the sequence is also 1 so we get this is equal to minus 1 and this value in the sequence is 1 so we get minus 1 and anything multiplied with 0 is equal to 0 so finally we got 
the answer as 0 1 minus 1 equal to 0 so now we will substitute the k value equal to 3 so k value is equals to 3 and here a capital X of Z, uh, 3 is equals to summation from n equal to 0 to 3 and uh, x of n e to the power of minus j to pi by capital n is 2 sorry this is pi by 2 directly and uh, n and the k value is 3 so when we expand it we will get x of 0 plus x of 1 into e to the power of minus j 3 pi by 2 into 1 and uh, x of 2 is e to the power of minus 3 pi and x of 3 is e to the power of minus j 9 pi by 2 so when we get the values of this this is directly in the sequence and this value is j so 1 into j and anything multiplied with 0 is 0 so finally we got 1 plus j so now we can write what is the discrete Fourier transform sequence so first we got for k value equal to 0 we got 2 k value equal to 1 we got 1 minus j k value equal to 3 we got 0 and sorry k value equal to 2 we got 0 and for k value equal to 3 we got 1 plus j so so this is the discrete Fourier transform sequence of the given sequence and I think this much is enough and you will be able to solve any question to find out the discrete Fourier transform if a given signal is there or if there is a sequence given you just have to remember the formula and you have to substitute the sequence or the signal into x of n and you have to go on calculating and and that's it for this video I'll meet you in the next one and uh, also practice some questions based on these so that you will get confidence that yes you can solve these questions in exams also and uh, you will not lose confidence if you are unable to solve the questions you will get to know that you are not able to solve the question so you need to practice it so that's it for this video I'll meet you in the next one thanks for watching